everybody. Yay. Thank you, dog. It's Friday. Yay. Happy to be up, everyone. Yay. Hooray. We made it to the end of another great week. Uh, the sun is shining here, or at least it's trying to peek out of the clouds. It's going to be a great day. We're super excited to be with you today. As always, it's our favorite day of the week. Uh, thank you, dog. It's Friday. Um, welcome. And we're going to have a really fun craft today. We're yeah. super excited to share with you. So if you don't know who we are, I am Patty Quinn, and I'm here with the amazing Hillary Buholtz. Hey, everybody. Decorated in our little festive gear. Yeah. So if you go to the <laughs> shop, you can check out all the fun new things uh, and things that we've had before uh, for, for the holidays. Uh, but we've got a holiday craft. Uh, it's going to be a holiday dog napkin wood slice ornament. So we're taking these wood slice ornaments that we had a stash of. We've got the, you know, the rustic. They're just slices of wood. Yeah. Hillary's got a package of them there. And we're gonna take uh, some your some of your favorite doggy napkins, and I have these adorable little dachshunds. And oh, look at I love that little Santa with a puppy. That's so I cute, have a Santa puppy one. And I had a hard time finding uh, dog themed napkins um, locally, although um, they are around. But I did find this uh, tissue paper at TJ so Maxx, cute. which is really cute. So it's just kind of gift wrapped tissue paper. Yeah. Um, so basically that's what you're looking for is kind of just this really thin tissuey yeah. paper um, that we're going to put onto our, our ornament, um, of course, Dougie themed. Um, and, and so if you, if you happen to, cause the idea of this is that kind of thin tissue paper, but if you can't find tissue paper of any kind with right. the theme that you're looking for, you could also try like gift wrap, there's some really yes. cute dog themed gift wraps right now, or um, even a card or something like that. So right. I have like this little, let me take it out of the, you're a little shiny, but this little oh, Santa with all the yeah. puppy stuff like yeah. that. So something, <clears throat> one of the things that you want to look for is making sure that the design of whatever you're going to put on the ornament is yeah. small enough so that you can actually fit it onto the ornament that you're right. not cutting off the major like it's not just santa's nose when you're <laughs> <laughs> um, and you can use different sizes you can see hillary's yep. got a larger size than i do mine is might might be you know two two and a half inches you can do the three and a half to four inch ones not a problem yeah they come in different sizes so that's no big deal. I think the mailman's here and Ginger's <laughs> letting us know. Um, and so the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to cut out your little uh, silhouette out of the out of the napkin. And I've got my little little guy here. Okay. Sorry. You were you were smarter than I was because I uh, pulled it apart first and oh, then cut it out, which makes yeah. it. A little it, tougher to it, <laughs> it is it is because it's really thin then yes. so i cut mine out first because it gives it a little bit of weight and heft to it and then as hillary said um you're going to want to pull it apart yeah because that's so you, they, your they napkins are usually backings. like yeah two ply so we're going to pull, pull that apart and you'll be All left right. with yeah we just have this nice little thin piece Hi, B. Thanks for being with us today. Yeah, that's so pretty. It looks so nice when it's translucent and everything. And then what's going to yep. be great is it's going to, you're going to see the uh, grain and everything. The wood grain through. Yeah, yeah, coming through, which is really cool. All right. And then uh, once you have it you, uh, cut out, you want to make sure that it fits your slice and then, you know, fits nicely on your slice. Then we're going to take some Mod Podge. And I ask this every time, like, how long does it take you to go through know, a bottle I, of Mod Podge? So I'm almost down to the bottom of this one. <laughs> We've, uh, me too. We've been using it pretty well. So, um, so we just give it a nice thin layer. And I'm just going to coat it nicely. And for yours, depending on how smooth your wood disc is, you may need to kind of sand it down to smooth out oh, that surface right. a bit. Yeah. In fact, I did do that ahead of time just because um, what will end up happening, you don't have to do it, but what will end up happening is you get some lumps and bumps and uh, air bubbles that might come in there. So, 
So you give it a nice, nice coat there. And it's got a, a, a little milky color to it, but that's fine because it'll it'll dry clear. And then you go ahead and put your little tissue paper on. And then you just smooth it out. Now, if you've got a large piece like Hillary does, you can put Mod Podge on half of the ornament, then stick that half of the paper down, then lift up the other half of the paper and put the Mod Podge down on the other half, you know, whatever whatever it takes to kind of help you center it and get it in in place oh shoot did it, it tear is. yep <laughs> yeah it's you got to be gentle with it yep so you can see i had a little tear there <laughs> Birgit says that she wants to make these for her friends they are going to be they're really cute they turn out so nice really pretty. So I'm just kind of patting them down in place. You're going to have some wrinkles. It's not going to be perfectly smooth, but that's part of the rustic nature of it. So there's my little guy, which is cute. Looks like a little cousin of ginger, my little ginger dachshund. That's why I, fell in love trim. I have another little round. I'm going to try to trim this one up real quick. Okay. I no problem. And then we're going to coat it with another layer of Mod Podge. And you just want a thin layer, but you want to make sure to capture the edges um, so that the, the edges don't curl up uh, and your napkin doesn't come off. It kind of adheres everything once you, if, as long as you get those edges down. Um, and then when I finish, I like doing my brush strokes all in the same direction. Um, it just adds a nice little finish to it when you're, when it's all dry, because sometimes those brush strokes do show through. And there are different finishes for the Mod Podge as well. So mm -hmm. you can have kind of glossy or I don't know what mm -hmm. these ones, this satin yeah. is this one. Yeah. They have matte versions. So, right. So again, it has a little glo uh, a foggy, coating onto it, but that's fine. It'll dry clear. And then um, the way to hang these is uh, I just got these little screw eyes, these little hooks here that have a little screw at the bottom, little circle at the top. And I pre-drilled a little hole in, at the top. And then these just twist right in there and give you a nice uh, place to hang your ornament right on top like that but you don't have to use these if you don't have them or if you don't have a drill or if you know you twist them in there and they do end up uh, breaking the wood because it is kind of dry uh, you can glue hot glue a ribbon just make a loop out of your ribbon and and glue that on there um, and then to make the hanger part i just took a piece of ribbon and i found this really cute ribbon on Etsy. It's just these little dog bones that's green. Oh, that's really adorable. Cute. It is really cute um, and Christmassy. And yeah. then I just looped it through. And so here's one that I made before. So I'm going to let this one dry, but here's another one that I made. And I just looped the ribbon through the screw eye. And it's really easy. You're ready to go. And then I did because I was ambitious and I had that really fun uh, tissue paper with the paw prints on it. I, I made two together. Oh, that's adorable. I and love them. Them. <laughs> <laughs> Those are so cute. So that will be a really fun little ornament to make um, as well. And then I just had so much fun. Uh, Birgit, you're right. These are going to be so much fun. Like you just, you can't just make one. They're like potato chips. You can make more than one. <laughs> <laughs> um, but if you like, you can also use jute to hang it. And then I put the ribbon on top and then I added some, uh, greenery, some little greenery to it. Those and then so added cute. some little berries, uh, under the, under the bow. So you can really do all kinds of fun things, 
uh, to embellish these. And what I found is, I know, thank you, Birgit, this one's really pretty, isn't it? Um, what I found is um, if you can go all the way to the edge on your ornament, it really get, gives it a nice finish touch. Um, you know, obviously my little dachshund ones don't go quite to the edge, but that's fine. But the more, the more, like I had these little paw prints and I cut out a tiny little one and I put it on a bigger piece of wood and it just doesn't look good with all that, a ton of wood showing, right? It just yeah. looks like it's kind of just pasted on there. So if you can get to as close to the edge, um, the, that's the best way to go. I love those. Those turned out so These cute. really, I know. And I just love my little, my little red and green paw prints. These are so cute. They're so fun. That is adorable. <laughs> So I had tiny little pieces of wood. Like I said, I just eat, they're fun. They're super fast and easy yeah. to make. Um, they're really This is cute. a great one for the kids to do with you. Yes. Like a, and they yeah. can all write their name on the back and the year on the back. Like oh, yeah. you can you can really customize them and couldn't be right. easier. You yeah. Know? You can put your dog's name, you know, yep. on it too. Um, just to have a this every year we try to get new ornaments for our tree and these would be really fun ones to do. Yeah. And, and like you said, uh, beer great to share with, with friends and family, all kinds of dog moms and dads. So um, speaking of which, hi, Al, thanks for being with us. Hi, Holly. Hello. Thank you so much. Um, Bubbles in Alaska say hello. Well, we say hello back to Bubbles in Alaska. <laughs> Ginger and Hank are sending um, Merry Christmas wishes to you and your family this year. And everyone, thank you so much for being with us. These were just the funnest yeah. little gifts and ornaments to make. We just had a blast. Um, obviously, I had a lot of fun <laughs> um, embellishing them and stuff with whatever craft stash I you know, had on hand. Um, but yeah, we'd love to see pictures. Um, if you guys make them, um, it's just would make our day. That would be the, yeah. the best. And we'll put uh step-by-step -step instructions later today. There will be step-by-step yeah. -step instructions in the description so that you can kind of see, cause Patty took pictures as she was building some of the ones that you just saw her, uh, display. So you can actually see each of the steps really close up, which makes yeah. it nice. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Um, and I'm going to probably go get my hair dryer and dry this one super fast so I can get it finished right away. <laughs> I, I'm so impatient. I want to see how it looks when it's all done. Um, hope you guys had a lot of fun. Thank you again for being with us. Thanks, Megan. It's so great to have you here as well. Um, we really wish everybody a happy, yes. happy holiday. Um, we will be off next Friday, but we'll probably do a replay of one of our oldies but goodies uh, for the holiday. So if you'd like, you can tune in um, while you're feasting with family and, and having a lot of good fun with your furry best friends. Um, thank you so much for all you do for us. All of your support really means a lot. Um, and we really appreciate everything. So thanks again. Yeah. Have a thanks, great holiday. Everyone. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye.